11,000 RPM, 240 inches a minute. 11,000 RPM, 240. What's the diameter on that phone? 5.8. 5 8 We're running a 60,000 step over and half an inch step down. 60,000 step over, half an inch step down. When did you start doing this? At the Centroid new 590 machine at PRI. Mike Stevens here with Centroid. Mike, tell us about this machine first of all. So this is our newest machine. It goes plus or minus 90 degrees. This one's fully decked out with a 40 horsepower spindle, a 40 tool changer, and this one's got a conveyor. And it's got all new roller cam technology in the A axis and in the B axis. Super rigid. And what we have there that is a three-quarter inch rougher from Destiny Tool, which I used to rough out this whole pocket area. It took about 15 minutes to clear all that out. So, full disclosure here, we supplied you with a whole bunch of end mills. To oh yeah, on this. to test this out, and they're awesome. Yeah? Oh yeah, I love these things. Cool, so the, the Diamondback rougher, mm -hmm. giving you the, a decent finish for the roughing side? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Chip evacuations? Oh, they fly out of there. Yeah? Oh, they fly out. Excellent. Well, let's look at let's look at some of the tools that are that you're using because this is an interesting carousel. This is a pretty unique machine. You guys only do stuff for the racing industry. Is that yep, correct? that's right. So we've got a lot of followers, um, both on Instagram, Facebook, things like that, mm -hmm. and some of them have commented that hey, we're not we don't really know who Centroid is. So where's Centroid located? Howard, Pennsylvania. It's about right in the middle of the state near State College. Oh, cool. So tell us about what you've got up here with us. So we've got a, a half inch finisher there, a half inch rougher. Uh, there's a half inch ball mill rougher there. Another uh, 5 eighths ball mill rougher there. This three quarter inch finisher, really long, no chatter. Yeah, so really tell awesome. us about that. So really, with that length of cut, and that's a... Yeah, you would really expect to get chatter out of a tool like that, but you get nothing. It just cuts perfectly. Uh, another uh, a three-quarter inch ball mill for finishing a uh, rocker bar journal and an extended three-quarter inch rougher. Now that's a really long tool. Again, no chatter out of it. It just sounds and cuts perfectly. It's we, we, awesome. We've been talking about to people, so we, we have this double variable helix to where each helix is different and we're grinding the front of it so mm -hmm. that you are holding edge and can do the roughing. And it, it's been great at being here at the show with you guys and running all this. It's like, mm -hmm. go over and see what an extended length looks like. Go over and see what this is all about. Oh, so yeah. this has been great. Uh, really appreciate you spending some time with us before uh -huh. the show on the last day. Um, we look forward to seeing yeah. you again. Destiny Tool, I love these things. Awesome, thank you, sir. Just making it out of a chunk of bill, it's all the doing. Jeremy, our friend from last year. Jeremy's still a high school senior? Yeah, 17. 17 uh, years old. So he got his first CNC last year at this time here at the show. And he's been busy making parts. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so tell us what you're doing. This is a uh, intake elbow for a Terminator Mustang for the modular. Um, and this was done 100% with Destiny Tool. This outside was a uh, half inch three flute Viper ball end build that had in the machine for about a year and a half now and so put out mirror finishes with it. We'll be using Destiny tool exclusively for aluminum for a little over a year now and couldn't be happier. Cool. So uh, what are your plans now? So you're going to do what? So we're starting to look into five axis machines and starting to grow there and build our own full billet intakes. Cool. So this is a new product. You're still in high school and you're getting yep. some CNC's and you're going to start making your own stuff, yep. right? Yep. All right. How do people find you? Um, on social media, we're Motive, uh, M-O-T-I-V, Performance Engineering on Facebook and Instagram. Cool. 
All right, guys, you need to hook up with him. We're here at PRI 2017 talking to Dean. We met Dean last year and we convinced him to try our end mills. And now he's tried them and he's got some CNC. So tell us what your experience has been. Well, I'm new to the business, so I'm making a lot of mistakes. And, and these end mills have held up better than anything else that I've used under the mistake situation. So whenever I get things figured out, they produce a better finish than anything I've used before. And, and you just got a Haas machine? Yeah, I got a VF5 Haas with a Cat 50 spindle in it, so it'll pretty well tear up anything you put in it. And these end mills have held up to that Cat 50 machine quite well. Awesome. Hey, thanks for visiting us again, man. Sure. Alec. Yes. You're with J Squared. J Squared. Square do? We build uh, plasma tables, um, tubing benders, uh, pipe notchers, and stuff like that. And you're here at PRI with Boo. Here at PRI, two, 2017. Uh, 20, what is it? What are we, 52, 56, 47, I think. Okay. So you're right down there. We're right down there. See our big sign down there. There you go, right at the end. Yeah. Right down the aisle from us. Yeah. So, thank you for stopping by. You Absolutely came up here and I love the first words out of your mouth about Destiny Tool. Well, I said that I could, he was uh, talking to some guy and uh, I said that I could vouch for their product because it's about the best end mill that I've ever used. So it's, uh, it's a great product. Cool. That's all we needed to hear. Thank you. Yep, absolutely.